Hey guys, Vigoman here and welcome back to Thornsbury once again. Hope you guys are feeling fantastic today. Hope you are inspired, ready to do some more building. I know I am as usual. We are here uh, in our little desert village trying to do some more progress here. Today I want to work over here, uh, kind of away from where we worked on last episode. It has been a long time since we've been here, um, probably like two or three weeks, I think. Um, there's been some issues with the server that we're playing on, uh, which kind of made me want to kind of slow down this project here a little bit. So, um, yeah, uh, not going to go into detail on that today, though. But what we want to work on is this natural spring that is um, going to happen over here and I have some ideas and hopefully together we can get something looking pretty snazzy together. Uh, we're gonna add a little pond thing which is like a natural spring so I want this to come from the underground like a very deep uh, lake that is kind of spewing out water uh, and this is gonna like flow through and we're gonna have a little uh, wash basin down here and stuff and I think it's gonna look pretty cool by the end. Then I also want to do a little um, like uh, one of these stalagmites or like these pillars, carved pillars on the side here and hopefully it can turn out pretty good in the end. So what I'm gonna do is, to begin with, I want to have this lake here, which as I said, uh, I want to make it pretty steep. I think what I'm gonna do though uh, is to do some world edit here. I haven't done this before, but I do believe it should work. Don't see why not. So what I'm gonna do is just fill this up here with uh, a different color wool, so using red, and then we're gonna do some world edit to push this down. So we're gonna go first here, fill 35, um, 14, which is red, and just 10, and then we're filling that all in. And then we grab here, and there, 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 yeah, I think we're good. <laughs> and then stack, uh, let's say 10 down minus A. And then I gotta go expand, whoops, uh, expand 11 down, I guess. And then uh, replace 35, 14 with zero. And then we got like this chasm thing or um, I think we could go even deeper on this one, but maybe not. Let's, let's give it another try here. Let's, um, and then we'll do another one, which goes a little deeper. How far down are we now? Yeah, we have, we have something to work with. And, and I want this to be like, those, you know those super deep holes, there's some in Yellowstone and around the world that is just like spewing out water from like inside the earth uh, and it is, let's see here, fill, there we go, and it's just a super, super, oh no, that's not gonna work, is it? Um, probably won't work because, okay, yeah, let's give it a try, <laughs> let's do, uh, we just gotta, Base it up a little bit. So we do the same thing. Stack 10 down, minus A, and then we do somewhat similar to this and this. Um, this to there should be good. And this to, let's say, here. I think we should get it all covered and expand down. And then replace there, and we didn't get all of it, but that's not a problem. Let's just quickly do this by hand. And that is a super steep uh, water thing. And what I want to do here is, I like to try to give you guys some advice and help you guys out with stuff. And uh, I'm, I'm going to show you a cool technique. I, I'm not using it a lot myself, but a lot of people are, and it is very very helpful for creating cool like lakes and ponds and stuff like that and hopefully we can make that work today it might take a while but i think it will be worth it uh, i'm gonna just do some world edit here again and then like that and yeah 
So we got that. Uh, it is very weird right now. But what we're going to do is to fill up the walls with some blocks. So I think we'll go with... I think we're going to go pretty red. Uh, and then we can use this red sandstone thing. Pour it in the lake. Does that have particles? No. Um, like this red one here. Uh, and then we will do something like this here to begin with, I think. Thinking about it now, I probably could have done this straight away and I <laughs> wouldn't have to do all the, the um, other stuff, but that's okay. Um, let's grab that. And then just stack uh, 10 down. Oh man, yeah, that's gonna be a problem here. Um, but we'll fix that. Uh, like, like this. Just fill in the sand here. And then like that. So then we got that, like a big chasm. And then we'll do something slightly similar over here so we got something like that which is just like the general shape of what we want to do so my idea is that eventually what we will do is to probably make this out of like a combination of slabs and fuel blocks and it's going to be like this natural border of the lake uh, a lot of these springs natural springs kind of come up with a lot of um, sediments as well like calcium and maybe mud and clay taken from below and it kind of stops at the edge of the lake so you get this natural border and then we'll spew out here into this thing uh, but what we're going to do is to use just a layer technique where we have just a thin layer of water on the top it gives you the nice reflection uh, but uh, it allows you to do like tons of stuff below here which is just awesome um, I think for um, just to make it easier for ourselves, how does this look? Yeah, let's do something like that. Um, I want to use this perspective thing where it kind of just looks like it's just infinitely deep. Um, but we don't have too many more blocks below us to work with. And I don't want to just build below, 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 you know, I, I want to rather uh, be able to add a details to what we kind of have here. So if you just fill this in like so, and then I think a quick uh, replace one with black should work, yes. And then, yeah. So we got that. Um, and then I want to use this one. And just, uh, well, actually, let me find the ID for this one. And then just fill 95, 15, and then 10. Well, there's one block there. Oh, that's... Yes. Uh, and then we'll go up one block. No. Yeah, there. And like that and then I think we can use some of the the fog blocks here the cloud blocks now that's way too light is there any one of these that are like dark like fog they're all very bright um, all right um maybe there's another glass that is not that <laughs> super super dark this is is a technique you can use in vanilla as well um i've seen a lot of people using it what's the id for this one yeah that's not too bad and then just a seven and then ten i don't know does that work I feel like it, we're way too yeah we're way too far up here. Uh, let's do an undo. Yeah, that's better. 
and I think, yeah, that kind of works, makes it look super, super deep. So what I want to do for the rest here is to kind of make, uh, like, layers like this, that are kind of sticking out. I'm going to be using a lot of different cool blocks to do that, and, and maybe we could have, like, some stuff growing here. I know it might not be, like, super realistic, but um, I think it's kind of cool if we can pretend like there's like um, oceanic plants that are growing here so if we do something like this uh, maybe actually like that that are like growing below here maybe there's some other ones as well that uh, like plants that can work in here uh, of course hanging ivy is cool we can get some of that and you won't really be seeing all of this but I think it can look pretty cool in the end uh, we probably should have some like dried out stuff as well like it's not gonna be dried out but it looks like um, seaweed or whatever you call that like not the grass stuff but the the more sticky stuff <laughs> we have a lot of that in Norway very 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 bad when you want to go swimming uh, but we do something like that and we probably should do some more stuff over here as well with like overhangs and just kind of filling all of this up in a way so we got something whoops <laughs> like this which uh, I think is pretty good I know it might not be like entirely realistic for um, for this kind of stuff but I, I kind of like it you know I don't think it's too bad I think um, for, for a fantasy world, we can do like stuff like this. Maybe there's some magical water flowing up here, which is uh, giving the people of Thornsbury super stealth or something when they're trying to to steal. Uh, you know, the most people, or a lot of people, not most of them, but a lot of people in, in Thornsbury are thieves, which are stealing from uh, the close-by town of Haven's Bay, which is actually the first city... Or town, whatever you want to call it, it's the first place we built uh, in this world, which is uh, kind of cool. It's very close by. You can see it right over all there, there, there. <laughs> there we go. Uh, so um, it, it's very close by, and I think that's kind of cool, you know. So that is why they're like what they're kind of living on. They're actually making most of their earnings and livings by plundering and stealing from. Uh, not just Haven Bay, but the traders, the boats and stuff that are coming in. And then something I want to do here. Uh, I'm not sure again how this will work uh, as I am with most stuff for today's episode. I want to try to make like these columns of steam that is flowing up. Like trying to make it look like bubbles that are like coming up through the water. And I think we can simulate that with the, the steam block. So if you do something like this, maybe, and another one maybe in the corner here. Uh, let's smooth that out a little bit, but then... Something like that. And then what I want to do, it, this is where like the, the, the genius happens. So we do fill here, uh, and then it's... 8, I think, which is still water, and 6, and then, of course, 20. Um, now, I think we could make it even thinner, just to undo, uh, and then we do, so I guess it's 7. Is that the thinnest one? Oh, it's not as translucent as I was hoping. Um... Undo. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Eight. Now nah, that's a full block again. So um, seven is the thinnest one, uh, and you can use this as well. But uh, and it looks kind of cool. But oh, it's very dark in here. Uh, but um, let's see if we can update some light in here. I was really hoping that it was more translucent, so you can see like some of the details. But I think it works. I think it's kind of cool. And then for the next episode, I want to work on how it kind of winds down here. Uh, make this little pillar thing and 
and kind of work around this bit. But I think it so far is pretty cool, and I think it is definitely taking shape. Um, and it's just a cool idea you can use for your world, and it definitely feels super deep from here. You cannot see the bottom, uh, which is the first thing, the most important thing that I want to do today for this is that just like endless depth. And uh, we kind of make that work with uh, the illusion we did. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do hope that you enjoyed. If so, make sure to smack that like button. And if you haven't done it already, make sure to subscribe. It's been Vigoman, and I'm out.